Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply not your story. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using my new Tinsel Town Tarot. I received it um, from a sponsor and they were so generous they also sent me guess what they sent me Meryl Tarot I um, am super excited to see this and it's not even released yet I'm so excited the office tarot oh, I'm so excited if y'all don't know this is one of my favorite shows um it's not for everyone for sure but <laughs> I love it so let's start off with Tinseltown Tarot Virgos Happy August. It's going to be our season very soon. So hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday this year. I know last year we celebrated together on a live, I think. But uh, I don't know. I would love to like travel somewhere and meet a few of y'all. I don't know. Let me know where all of you are in the world. Because usually for my birthday, I take a trip anyways. Maybe I'll go where the majority of my subs are and we can all <laughs> hang out or something. I don't know. Show me what's in Virgo's energy. I feel like there is a trip that y'all are going to take very soon. I don't know. Ooh, I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you or something, Virgo. Whoa, okay. I feel strongly there's some weird energy around y'all. All right, let's see what we got. Let me move this over so you can get a clear view of the cards. All right, that's going to have to do. <laughs> Virgos, this is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. It feels like, so let me tell y'all, when I do this thing, I'm looking for which part of the, the spread has the most vibration. And when I go here, it's like hot, hot. But here, it's like, ah, you know, just normal. But when you move over here, it feels like, and the best way I can describe it is like, it feels like you're putting your hand over the stove. You know how there's like two burners or whatever? Like, it's like if you're putting one over one that's off and one over one that's on. That's the only way I can describe it. That's the vibration I'm feeling. Over here in your surrounding energy, my lovely Virgos, let's get started with the strength in reverse, the seven of cups in reverse, the eight of cups, and the six of wands in reverse. I feel like there's nothing holding you back right now, Virgo. There's nothing holding you back from your biggest dream. The strength in reverse, upright. The strength obviously means... I'm really sorry about that if you guys could hear that upstairs. I'm really so My kids are like arguing or something. Um, but with the strength card here, usually the strength obviously means strength. It's the Leo energy. But it's also spotlight. When it's in reverse, sometimes when it's upright, it means being held back. Do you see how the lion's kind of looking at her like, let me go be great, <laughs> you know? But when it's in reverse, nothing is holding you back. Nothing is holding you back from, look at the seven of cups up in reverse. Now, when it's, in re when it's upright, this is dreams. This is options. This is variety. Variety. 
I keep hearing there's just one. There's just one. There's just one. And if any of you know any of these movies or any of these scenes, let me know in the comments below so I can kind of do some research and get um, a feel for what the, what the other meanings are behind these cards. But I keep hearing there's just one. There can only be one. And when it's, this one is really creeping me out. I don't, ooh, I got the chills so bad. Ooh, I got the chills so bad. There's one, like there's, I don't know. There's, ooh, I got the chills so freaking bad. I can't get over it. There's something about this thing right here. This person, whoever it is, there's something about, look at red. It's cloaked in red. Y'all need to get, there's like protection. Like somebody's gonna, like you're gonna need protection from some situation or from someone because they don't have their, your best interest in mind. There's one. There's always that one rotten little apple, right? I'm getting like they're like, oh, it's just creepy. I'm getting like a creepy vibe, okay? There's nothing holding you back. And then the seven of cups, this means variety. It means options, but it also means dreams. When it's in reverse, this means there is only one. One option, one dream. There's nothing holding you back from that big thing that you are wanting to accomplish you're wanting to do for some of you i feel like you want to be in the spotlight for sure i feel it and with that strength in reverse there's nothing holding you back the eight of cups you are free to chase every in every last one of your dreams the eight of cups talks about going towards your wish fulfillment even if it means leaving the scene leaving your home leaving your hometown look at that it's like the door like the foundation in life you've built it's not holding you back if your dream is telling you it's time to relocate it's time to branch out it's time to be seen there's something about being in movies i don't know if some of you want to act or want to write or want to like be on stage i keep hearing and seen you know and they like call curtain call and seen I feel strongly like it's weird because like there was like a door like slam upstairs. I heard it. There's like a door slamming upstairs. I don't know if there's like something. I don't know if there's something like. I don't know. I don't know if there's something that's like it's a fight to leave or maybe some of you are leaving a home situation. But I feel like it's time to close the curtain on whatever that situation is or you're getting ready to, okay? I feel that so strongly. You're walking towards your wish fulfillment and it's going to be, there's going to be some conflict around that, that time or maybe there's conflict in your mind about it. With the six of wands in reverse, it's like you're not being seen at your full potential yet, Virgo. The six of wands in reverse means not getting recognition, not reaching the finish line, not reaching your goal, not getting that attention, not getting, ooh, I almost said the looks or the stares, and then I heard monetize. Maybe some of y'all are, are on YouTube. Maybe some of you are monetized on some sort of platform or streaming service or something like that. The six of wands in reverse means not getting this, the recognition, not being seen, okay? And that is what the goal is, to be known, for known for your craft, known for your, your potential, for your career, for your passion. I just heard diamonds are a girl's best friend. And then I heard shaggy. I don't know if this resonates for anyone, but let me know if it does. Some of you come from Greek descent. I see that so very strongly. Greek descent. Over here in your surrounding energy, my lovelies. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Fool. You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the Eight of Wands. 
with the knight of swords this person is passionate okay the knight of swords is passionate they know what they want they go after what they want and they usually get what they want i feel strongly this is you virgo but this is also someone that you're going to be networking with or working with in the future all right this is someone that's seeing you for your full potential seeing what you bring and what you can offer to not only yourself but to whatever craft it is that you are working on and they're on their way they see you they like you and they're going to get you signed or contracted or working with them or something some way shape or form the clouds are opening they had a vision and they're on their way to go and see what you're about and what you can do and what do you want what is it going to take for you the full card to take a chance to take a chance, to take a leap of faith, to trust them, to go work with them, to go on an endeavor, to go on a trip, whatever it may be for you, Virgo. But your bags are already been packed and you're ready and waiting. I think some of you have been working and waiting for this offer. And at a small glance, I looked up here and it looked like a dollar bill. All right, this is going to come with lots of financial or monetary gain. Lots of stability. Um, there's definitely something about a pink purse or a pink wallet or a light, light wallet, um, whether you're male or female. Someone's going to really gas you up. Like I'm seeing that and it kind of looks like something that blows air to me. Um, someone's really, really gassing you up or really, really trying to convince you to, to take this trip, to take this endeavor, whatever it may be for you, Virgo. But someone is like speeding, hauling ass to go get you, pick you up, get you signed, get whatever this may be. This is someone of importance. This is someone with power and authority. But this is someone who knows what's good. Like this is someone who knows what's good, right? And they know it's you. I just heard ice cream crazy. No if and buts or maybes. It's a weird song that I used to listen to when I was little from like Mary Kate and Ashley. Um, ice cream crazy. No if and buts or maybes. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> maybe some of y'all can let me know in the comments below. Underneath the deck with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. I think you might be hesitant. You might be hesitant at first on what to do with this Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, right? Someone's giving you an offer and you're not sure to trust it. You're not sure if it's real and you're not sure if it's too good to be true. Knight of Pentacles, right? It's like they're laying an offer on the table. Like, you know, the offer is there where it stands. I'm laying the offer where it stands. The door is open. Are you coming or not? the world awaits whatever this is for you virgo it's something major and it's something big and i have the chills so freaking bad i don't know what that is on his hat but it looks like from where i'm looking at it says it looks like it's like 101 like let me give you the 101 like i don't know 101 like this is like the first class or the first step right this is the first place to go if you want to be seen to be known to be known for and to inspire you know to inspire others it doesn't have to be fame it can be simply fame in your in your craft in your in your field whatever it is you do the Knight of Pentacles, you don't know whether or not to take this or whether or not to believe if it's too good to be true. But look, with this Eight of Wands, I think there's going to be a lot of back and forth, emailing, talking, texting, phone calls, messages, you know, proposals, contracts. Eight of Wands is airway communication. This is someone reaching out to you, you reaching out back, possible negotiations, but this is also travel and this is also fast forward movement. Some of you may be getting ready to be whisked off somewhere to go really sign a contract in person, really start a new chapter. 
and really be worldwide. <laughs> global. Some of y'all are going to be global. I just heard household name. All right. Some of y'all are definitely going to be known if that's what you've been manifesting. All right. And for some of you, your career and this chapter that you've been wanting, one dream in particular is going to really, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat just got clogged, really quite literally lift off. All right. The beginning stages are already booked, right? The flight's booked. They're waiting for you to jump on. The beginning stages of your one of your dreams has already been scheduled. In the mutual energy, my lovelies, you have the six of swords and you have the five of swords. The six of swords talks about moving, but it's also travel as well. Some of you are definitely going somewhere. I don't know if you guys are going somewhere like on a whim, like someone's like, hey, we need you here right now, you know, or hey, we'll fly you out to talk about this or hey, can you meet us here, you know? But this is travel and this is travel. This may also be travel. So it is possible some of y'all are going to be traveling. This is even traveling. All right. There could be someone from far away. It could be an offer from far away. Or it could be that you are actually going somewhere. Okay. But that Six of Swords talks about leaving a rocky road to something much more clear, much more easy, smooth sailing from here on out. But once you get there, loves, I'm getting a strong, like, caution, like red flag, red flag, you know? With the Five of Swords, the Five of Swords is not necessarily a great card. Um, the Five of Swords talks about people that play mind games, people that are selfish, people that are only out for themselves, people that have ulterior motives, people that are manipulative, people that are thieves, People that are only out there to help themselves. And I'm getting strong like movie production vibes, video production vibes, like producers even. Or I'm getting like studio. That's all I'm getting. Studio behind the scenes vibes. Okay. The Five of Swords talks about some shady people. And quite literally, doesn't that look like they are, you know, they're, they're grayed out. Shady. Quite literal, shady people. All right, be careful when you do make it to that destination, my lovelies. I keep wanting to say theater. Some of y'all are definitely going to be starring in some sort of thing where you have to be like booked, quite literally booked. I just heard walking on air. You're going to be so happy when this comes into fruition, my lovelies. But be careful for the shady people, all right? It's very grim and I'm getting like living zombie vibes, right? They're zombies, they're, they're energetic zombies, all right? There's a letter P. There, I'm seeing the letter P in particular. PV. That's what I'm hearing. PV. PV. Point of view? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Some of y'all can let me know in the comments below. Underneath the deck, what you don't see coming, what you don't expect, the lovers, which means detachment. It means distance. There's definitely possible a possible distance that you're going to have to take or you're going to have to distance yourself or detach yourself. Some of you, I feel strongly it's going to be a career in which you have to be level-headed and, and know who you are and, and really leave your work at the door, you know? I don't know what it is because the Seven of Swords, if you take that with you or carry it with you, it's just going to really, really burden you. It's going to self-sabotage any sort of uh, future opportunities. Not all, but some, right? Ooh, I just heard you don't want to be known as the villain. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? You don't want to be known as the villain. And underneath that, the five of pentacles, all right? being left out in the cold. Sometimes you're going to experience ups and downs, okay? Detach yourself from bad criticism or negativity and don't let it take you all the way out. Also be careful um if you're feeling if like leaving people behind, you know what I mean? Like like um don't let it get to your head is what I'm getting. Don't forget the people that were like don't don't step on the people less fortunate is what I'm hearing, okay? 
don't step on the little people is what I'm hearing because that will come and bite you when it when you least expect it and when you least need it okay I do see that okay but there is something about distancing yourself that villain remark is really going to bother me until I figure out what it means but let's see let's get some moon messages for you if this is resonating let me know in the comments below if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel I would greatly greatly appreciate it hit that bell so you can be notified every time that I go live let's see moon messages see slash feel your true potential and someone definitely sees it and feels it like i said this is the person that's going to help you advance advance in whatever it is that you've been doing and we have unbothered yes there are truly people that lack empathy that lack a freaking soul pretty much right those those zombies there literally are people that lack that type of just emotion they're unbothered be careful from people be, protect yourself from people that are always unbothered okay it's a good thing but it's also not very great to lack empathy either with the peeps here there's a whole lot of people in your energy loves there's a whole lot of people in your energy watching you doing something okay or there's going to be a lot of people watching you for something yeah and like i said there's someone there's someone that's like a creep or something that one in the red right there it's giving me the chills and this came out revenge all right a lot of people are not going to take kindly of other successes especially yours virgo for some reason they feel entitled to a piece of your success even if they're not it's super weird. I don't know what in the world that is. But there is peeps and there is revenge. So it is saying there is a few people that are not quite as happy for your success. That is very much so on its way. My lovelies under the deck, Red Moon. You all have been getting this over and over and over again. Celebrate new life and change for the better. Be optimistic and open to the opportunities that come your way. That is what I have for you. I hope this helps and I hope it resonates. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much and I will talk to you soon.